Miss Randall, I must make it perfectly clear to you that I am not prepared to go onto the witness stand. I'm not being tried for morals, Mr. Smith, but murder. I understand that, Miss Randall, but I am not going onto the witness stand. Just beautiful. It seems no time at all since this beautiful young woman was gay with the joy of living. But now she is dead. No time at all since this man at her side was just an unknown scientist who hailed from Maryland, USA. Now, justice has run its course, and Smith stands trial on a capital charge at London's Old Bailey. But Smith won't talk. There's something I must tell you. Does it concern this case? Yes. I'd better get the inspector to take a statement. I will not tell the police. I will talk to you. I saw it. Miss Del Beau had nothing to lose but her reputation. Another witness was a chatty telephone operator. That was 310. The honeymoon couple doesn't want to be disturbed till 12 midday. Says his wife's tired. <laughs> but what of the others who didn't come forward? The men who could have filled in the details. The details that Smith refused to fill in himself to save his life. Members of the jury, Mr. Smith had no idea that night that there was anything in the world to substantiate his story. He didn't know what you know now, that across the street was a witness, a conclusive witness, couldn't speak, but unlike the witness Del Beau, couldn't lie.